Most of you will understand that the work that I've done to express my findings on the Sabian symbols is on the website Sabian Mysteries. And it may be useful for me to just go through the source material and how I came to write this work. It is um, an attempt to bring Jones's wisdom and Elsie Wheeler's wisdom and Rudyard's wisdom into some more modern 21st century sense so that we can understand it with the way we think nowadays. The attention span of the world has reduced considerably since the internet and a hundred years ago and we're talking about this this time this work was done in 1923 I think so around that time a long time ago the way that people were was very different the way they thought was very different they would really come to terms with something get to grips with something deeply just debate it and and, and get to a sort of a what a scholastic approach to astrology in those days. We're not like that today. We want um, a quick package, a summary of, of an opinion or a, a commentary. And, and then we will perhaps look into it more deeply. But so much is coming in front of our attention that we need a quick look. So the website is designed to give that quick look, partly with the images of Ruby Fumiski, partly with the strap line, the, the single line that has been chosen to um, suggest my deepest sense of the word. I've also included, of course, Jones's original description of what Elsie said um, and Rudyard's difference in, in that description. And um, I've tried to um, take Jones's wisdom and study it in the seven words system, with the seven word system. So I've taken his very heavy, dense material, and I've expanded it just to look at all of the points that he's making for each individual degree. And I've, I've looked at whether or not the seven words can be applied to his commentary. And I've done that. I've, I've said, OK, what exactly does this word say? That's the no. Um, can we expand our realm of interpretation here? That's the low. How does it feel, this degree? That's thank you. What would we do if we decided to change our lives according to the wisdom of this degree? That's goodbye. How would it be? What would be our life vision if we followed this degree? That's please. Um, what, what's the pitfalls here? What's, what's the, the other side of the equation? How, how might we not do very well, um, become insensitive to the actual message? That would be sorry. And yes, would be some sense of... Um, allowing allowing it all to flow so i've applied that that logic shall we say the seven words logic to jones's work which explains the the lower sort of seven paragraphs of each page um Ridger, i've i've um studied deeply his his work is much more spiritual i think um much more the attempt to look into the meaning, the deeper meaning within each degree, whereas Jones is saying that this is actually the case of the matter. Let, let's think about how this happened. Elsie was an arthritic woman in a chair, a highly advanced medium. She could um, use her intuition at the highest level to see what others of us cannot see. So she would have seen an image, a visual image, and described that image to Jones. And he wrote down a summary in a few words of what she said. So her image was received, presumably, from a source, which we are told would be the Sabians, a group of people many, many thousands of years ago, pre-Babylon, um, who are coming through her. Um, so perhaps they give her an image, and she tries to hold that grasp that image and and then describe it to Jones so by the time Jones's ears hear the words of her attempt to describe her image which is a reflection of the Sabian's image it's got a lot of subjectivity in it and Jones is 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 unable to describe a scene with five words exactly so he has to take the essence that he perceives Elsie has told him now, again, a lot of subjectivity and, and grounds for interpretation. So what Jones has actually written, it's, it's not 
any more objective or truthful than anything else. What Elsie saw was also what Elsie saw, not what the Savians delivered. And so when Rudyard reinterprets the images of Elsie, um, the words of Jones, then he, he adds his own sort of sense to it. He was strongly influenced by Carl Jung, incidentally, and that's not a factor which is underlined much, but I think it should be. Jung changed astrology. Modern astrology is Jung's astrology. Modern psychology is astrological. Um, Jung brought those two worlds together, in, in my opinion. And Rudyard was a part of uh, the resonance that, that Jung was picking up when that occurred. And, and he did the same kind of thing. As much as Jung took Freud's work and interpreted it, Rudyard took Jones's work and interpreted it. And I think there's a very similar sense of the relationship between each of the two pairs of men there. Um, now, they wrote in language which we don't understand today. So with my website, what I've attempted to do is to bring um, a sense of, of, of being able to access their wisdom without losing the, the rather laborious style, the, the rather ambig ambiguous presentation um, that allows someone to put their own interpretation into effect. Artful ambiguity, it might be called. So a part of what I'm, I'm doing is saying, well, look, here's, here's some feelings around this. Make of it what you will. Um, now, I, I've also summarized it as clearly as I can in, in my own sort of opening strap line. Um, so I, I'm saying, look, this is my take on it, but what's your take on it? And I don't think that there's any truth here. That we're not we're not looking for truth. We're saying these words, these images, um, touch us. How do they touch us? What do we do about that? That's that's the exercise. We're not explaining the universe. We're saying, look, if you follow this wisdom, maybe you can grasp the universe more clearly in in your way, more fully, more authentically in your own way. So um, that's the purpose of the website, is to um, make available to us all Jones and Rudyard's interpretations of Elsie's work, and also to write it in such a style that we have to interpret it in our own subjective way. I, I'm denying anyone the possibility of saying, no, this is what is said on the matter, therefore it is true. That's not a useful way to think my opinion.